I finished that my last round here, so then here I'm going to do one, two, three. In the next three uh, stitches, I'm going to do one single crochet. Here's, and the pattern is going to repeat all the way around. So here, let me put my stitch mark marker back in there. One. And then in the next one, two. And then the one, three. And in your fourth stitch, you're going to do two single crochets. You're going to have an increase. One, two, in the same stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around. So here's one. Get some more yarn. Two. And three. Now here, on the fourth, I'm going to do two single crochets. One. Two. Just repeating it all the way around. One. Two. Three. The fourth stitch. Oops. I had a little smart. Two single crochets. One, two, and my third one here. One, two, three, and in the last stitch of the round, two double crochet, two single crochets. One, two. Okay, there we go. Now here, I'm going to do four rounds of one single crochet in every stitch. So here I'm going to put my stitch marker out. There's one single crochet. And now here for four rounds, you're going to do one single crochet in every stitch, no increase. So I'm going to go ahead and do my four rounds. And then I'm going to re come back and then we'll finish this off, okay? There we go. Just like that. So four more rounds. Put it here on the nose so you can see what it's looking like. Hold back. Just like that. I'm going to do four rounds and then I'm going to fit, fasten off. I finished my last round. So I'm going to go ahead and just slip stitch so I can fasten off. Oops, let me grab that again. And pull out. I left a long tail so that I could sew my nose to my hat once I stuff it. So here is the nose. Okay, so now we're gonna get your little beanie here. We're gonna work on the twig here on top of the head. You could uh, sew on all the pieces first and then do the twig. Either way, it doesn't matter whichever you think is gonna be easier for you. However, remember here, the back where we left off, this is the back of the hat, okay? So just kind of put it there in the center. I'm going to flip my hat over. You can precision, kind of get an idea of where. And this would be a great, this is, you could do this um, and this nose and then just do two buttons if you want to do black buttons for a, just a regular snowman. Olaf's going to have two eyes. One's going to go there and then the other one is going to go here. We can do the uh, twigs afterwards or before. So here, that's what, and then we're gonna, of course, his mouth, and then we can put a little, um, the little tooth with a piece of felt. It's up to you. So here, let me put these aside for now. So now I'm going to get the my chocolate brown color here for the twigs. Okay, now we're gonna do the little twigs on top. I, you can sew on the face first, and then do the twigs. It's up to you. I'm just going to go ahead and get the chocolate brown. I'm gonna make a slip loop. Make it a little bit longer so I could kind of sew that tail in when I'm done. Sorry about the dogs, they're out there crazy. So here I'm going to chain 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, so you have your 10 chains. Now I'm going to get my hat and here, let me get closer so you can see on the top of the hat, right there. I'm just going to go and catch my yarn. So I'm going to go here, come out just like that. Doesn't even have to be that, quite that thick, but I'm just trying to catch the yarn there. Okay, I'm going to bring it through, strip stitch, and then here I'm going to do 10 chains. Okay, let me pull it through here tightly. There we go. So here, 10 chains now. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then here I need one more. 
11 so I could have my turning chain now here this does not count as a chain here's one two on the second chain from the hook I'm going to go in there and then I'm going to do a single crochet in every stitch all the way to the end so here's two just like that making that little twig thicker and if you wanted to stand up you could also put a little piece of uh, those little Chanel like little forming sticks but if it's for a child you know you might kind of poke you there so here's two just go into every chain see how it's making it thicker Let's see if I could get closer so you could see that just creating that thickness two. and I'm going to go all the way here is my last stitch now I'm going to just completely jump over to the next side here and go and do my next single crochets on these rows on this uh, this end just like that I know it's hard to see because it's brown I wish I had a lighter color. Oh, here. Put this here. It was trying to twist, so let me get here. Two. All the way to the end. These are the first two little twigs. He has three twigs on his head, okay? So here, what we're going to do is then we're going to attach the third little twig to the top. And then you're going to sew in this tail into the brown work, okay? That brown twig. There. And then this is the last one. Okay? Just like that. So you have, let me see if I move back. You'll see two little twigs there. I'm going to cut this off a little bit long so that I could be able to sew that tail. This, these two tails are going to get sewn into the twig so then they'll disappear like this okay now he's got a third little twig here on top so what I'm going to do here is get my little loop okay I'm going to get if you could get close let me get let me get close so hopefully you can see what I'm doing and it doesn't have to be a perfect uh, grab but let me see if you could see the back you're just going to attach to one of these. I usually do it in the middle. See, can you see that little stitch there? I'm going to attach there. I'm going to come out, slip stitch through there, just like that. And then remember, this tail gets sewn in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we need one more so that we could turn. Eleven. Now we're going to do the same thing here on the second chain from the hook. So there's one, two. I'm going to start doing my single crochet into that little those chains too. And I'm going to that that's how I'm going to attach um, the little twigs. If you want to do it a different way, and you find a different way that's easier for you, then do it that way. I'm just this is how I decided to do it. Two. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to give me my three little twigs. I will have to sew in my tails, but that's not a big problem. And there's a last chain. What's that? Wait, that was one more chain. And now here, since I've done the last one, I'm just going to slip stitch here in the base. Pull out a little tail. Now you're going to have a few tails to sew in. So here's one, two, three tails that will be need to sew in. But once you do it, it's hard to see it with all these tails in the way. You're going to have your three. Move back. Oops. You have three little twigs just like that. If I move the tails out of the way, maybe you could see it better. Okay, so I'm going to sew my tails in and back into my work. 
these will go sewn in, sewn in here and here and so they'll disappear and I'll have my three little twigs there okay so let me sew in my tails and then we can sew our mouth our eyes our nose I'm going to embroider the mouth and I'm going to embroider you can embroider the eyes or if you want to make eyebrows like this you do for this eyebrows then you would do um, either 11 or 12 chains and then you could sew the those eyebrows onto the eyes so they could be as thick as the twigs uh, so different options for you so let me sew in my tails there and we'll come back and I'll sew the face and show you what it looks like okay I finished sewing in the tails there to the little twigs so now here using these rows uh, for the uh, rounds as our guide kind of remember we need to do um, our little eyebrows here over the eyes so we need to give enough space for the eyes the nose is going to go right there probably and then we need to put in his little smiling face so usually for this nose I'm going to go ahead and use some polyester fiber fill to stuff it I don't want to stuff it too tightly but I don't want it to like be too like flopping over so I'm just getting this poly fill just a little bit at a time and I'm going to just start stuffing it it's like that and it doesn't have to be super hard you just want to give it some shape you know so you don't want to be so hard that it you know feels kind of you just see how it's still soft but it's holding its shape maybe just a little bit more and I think ah, that might be a little bit too much that will be enough right there remove the stuffing and then I'm going to read like here that's my top row so there's one two three so probably here between the three and the four it's probably good for my eyes and then the nose I want it about right there because I still want to have enough space to be able to make eyebrows here and then make the smiley face beneath it so that I could put his little buck tooth I'm going to do the, you could do the buck tooth with a crochet or cut out a little piece of felt. So here I'm going to move my little eyes because I think that's a good place right there. And then if you have some safety pins or a stitch holders or something, you could use those to kind of just hold the nose in place so it doesn't move too much. Here's the tail I left so I could sew it on and I want to put that to the bottom so it kind of holds it in place. So here, I'm just going to use a little pin just to help me out a little bit. Safety pin, so it's not moving around too much the nose. Kind of pinned it there. Make sure you don't pin it all the way to the bottom, just this layer. And then I'm just going to hold it in place. I don't want to stretch out the hat or keep it too tight. And you don't have to put the safety pins if you don't want. I just want to kind of help me hold it while I'm sewing it so it doesn't move around too much. Then I'm going to go ahead and I think one more safety pin will be all I need. Okay, here. And like I said, if you don't want to do the safety pin, you don't have to. I just want to kind of help me keep it in place. Just like that. Okay. So... I'm going to get my needle and then I'm just going to sew the nose on. You can use whichever stip you, stitch you want. You could use a whip stitch. You could use whatever stitch you want. I'm right handed so I usually sew in this direction. I'm going to keep that little stiff. I'm just going to go here. Let me get closer so you can see better. And you sew whichever stitch is comfortable to you. I'm getting the bottom here. I'm sewing it on the top because I don't want the orange to show too much. And I'm just going in between the stitches or the chains there. Uh-oh, I just lost the needle there. If you want to just do a running stitch, a whip stitch, whatever you want, whatever feels comfortable to you. So I, this one I was going this way. If you want, you could also just get your your hat like this. Here's my needle. Go run it in. Catching the bottom. See that? I'm getting the white. In and out. In. Just 
like that. So see, when you do it this way, you're not going to see the stitches down here. And see how having it pinned, it really does help you. Just make sure you don't catch... I'm going to put my hand in there so I make sure I don't catch the other... I don't want to sew it shut. And it's easy to do because it's, you know, not that big. Just like that. I think having the safety pin helps. Just going in, out, in, out. And I'm going all the way through. I could feel it with my hand. Just like that. Almost to the beginning. In, out, in. Wow. Okay, it's already done. Take off the pins. The safety pins, I think, really help. It's kind of like when you pin your um, garments when you're sewing. So there it's ready. Let me go back. See there? And I like it because it's 3D with the nose instead of just, you could just do a little triangle and put it there, but then it's going to look more like a B. So once I do that, I'm going to get my needle go underneath and then here on the bottom is where I'll just grab one of the little double crochet post, make a knot, just kind of bury it in the yarn there. Doesn't really have, doesn't really matter. It's not going to show it's inside the hat. And then I could go ahead, cut that, and now your your nose is on. Okay. Remember that. See how I put the face features here. This is the back part where we had that string. So the little carrot nose is done. So now you just position your eyes. I think I did this one too. I know I did it too long. <laughs> so here now, I'm just gonna position the eyes. One there. And remember, I don't wanna put them way up here because I still need to have, um, do the little eyebrows. So there and there. Hey, it's starting to look like little Al, Al, Olaf. I said Elf. I watched the movie Elf today. That it, God, it always makes me laugh so much. And then here, I'm going to hold that eye there. Make sure it went all the way through. Yep, it sure did. Do the other one there. And then I'm just going to sew the eyes the same way I did the nose just with the little running stitch going in and out in and out so let me take the carrot if you already know how to do this you could just skip and to the end where I'm just putting the embroidering the mouth and the eyebrows if you could do remember you could do the eyebrows thick also by doing this kind of stitching so here now I'm going to use these same, see, see this row here? I want my little eyes to be underneath this one, two, like right here, okay? So then when I start sewing them, I want them to be kind of the same. I'm going to put my hand inside there so I don't sew it shut on itself, okay? I'm going to get my needle. And do the same thing, running stitch in, out. Okay. I hope I have enough yarn. Don't do it too tight because remember, you need to be able to let the um, hat stretch. Okay, it just came off there. I'm gonna pull it there to make sure it's able to stretch. Let me put that back in here. Just lost my yarn. I'm opening this up so I could get the yarn here. So this is how you sew it. Like I said, if you like to do it over, like with the whip stitch over the uh, white, that's up to you. When I do it this way, it doesn't show the stitches there. So I'm going to go ahead and go all the way around and do both eyes the same way. Okay. Keeping it under that little line there. So I'm going to finish and then I'll come back 
this is the same way you're going to stitch the other eye. After I stitch it, I'm going to pull it like this so I could stretch it out so it doesn't get tight. So that when you put it on the head, it'll be able to stretch. See that? So there's the eye. And now I'm going to do the other eye. I'm going to bring this to the back. Tie it on the back like I did the other one. And sew the second eye. So go ahead and sew both of your eyes on. And we'll come back and embroider the mouth and the eyebrow. Okay, I've put on the eyes and nose, the little carrot nose. And now we're going to do with the brown or with um, embroidery floss, whichever you prefer. You're going to do, you could embroider his um, eyebrows there. He'll have two little eyebrows here. Or if you prefer, you could chain 15. Oh, I mix with me 16 because you need one extra one. Turn around and then from the second chain from the hook, you're going to do the same thing we did here. You'll have two little strips and then you could sew those onto the hat if you want to make it thicker. It's up to you. And then um, with the black, then we're just going to embroider a little smile. For the, te for the tooth, you could either get a little piece of white felt, cut your little tooth and then put it up there, or you could leave it without the little tooth. It's up to you. The tooth could be either sewn on or, or glued on with some other fabric glue. And I'll show you the type of glue that I used. Okay, so for here, I'm going to get some brown yarn. And on my needle, I'm going to embroider the eyebrows. Now, these are just done freehand. So everybody's are going to be different, which is not bad because not everyone's the same, right? So here, I'm going to use these little lines as a guide. It's totally up to you how you place them. You could do them all the way across or just part ways. I leave a tail in there inside so that I could sew it. And then you could just start doing a little stitches there. It's up to you which stitch you use. And do your eyebrows, whichever shape you like. I use these as a guide, see that? And then that way I could say when I do the second one, I know how to kind of go by the same kind of shapes. If you want to do it this way, like I said with this, you could do that as well. Sorry guys, I had to turn that, my son had the music on and I don't want to get in trouble because then they'll say, hey, you can't monetize that, that was a song, but that was a background music. So you could just draw, if you want to, you could use one of those um, pattern marking uh, pins to draw it out and then you could just trace with your stitches there. So I'm just going to do one little eyebrow there. I think I'm going to bring it down more because it looks kind of like it's hanging there. Put my hand there. And then you do the same thing for the other side. Give it the shape you like. Oh, let me see here. Let's give it a little knot there. So just like that. Mm. And then just use those same little lines. I think I'm going to do it. That looks pretty good. But I'm going to bring it a little bit further down. Now I could put this in and then make my knots inside. So here's one eyebrow. I'm going to do the other side, and if you don't want it that big, then you can make them smaller. It's totally up to you. 
Okay, now I'm going to use the black. The same way I did this, I'm going to use these lines here, the rows, as my guide. I will probably start his smile probably here, go down a few rows here, and end up in the same place. So this is going to be my marker, uh, my guide. And if you want to draw it out with the fabric pen, the kind that the water, it dissolves when it um, washes, you could do that. Or you could just freehand it since it's just um, a child's item. So I'm going to go ahead and do the mouth that way. I'm going to start here in the 12, 11, 10, probably like in the ninth round here. Go around and then here. And then if you want to add the tooth, you could just cut a little piece of felt like this. And then you could glue the tooth on top like that. Or you could just leave it without the tooth, or you could do the tooth with uh, crochet. It's totally up to you. So let me go ahead and add that uh, mouth, and then we'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like when it's complete. Okay, so I finished doing um, the face just the same way I did the eyebrows. And so now I'm going to be adding the little buck tooth, just a little piece of felt. If you want to do it, you could do it with um, uh, the uh, crochet, by crocheting like four, skipping back and then doing, I mean, four chains, coming back and then just doing three single crochets, chain one, turn around and just keep doing it until you have a little square. I'm gonna just, just going to be using this little felt piece. Now, I had this um, glue from Eileen's um, and it's called flexible, it's stretchable, uh, flexible stretchable fabric glue. What I like about this, it you can, um, since this is going to be moving and things like that, it won't actually come off. It will flex with the fabric and so you can wash it and it works pretty good. Usually what I do, I'll just get like a little cardboard, a little piece of cardstock and stick it in there underneath just like that. Just because I don't want the glue to go to the other side, remember it's going to stick on there. Get your little glue. And you could do this when you do like, if you do eyes that are felt or other features, you can use this glue. And I got this at a bloggers event, so they had a bunch of people. I just put a little bit of glue here. Just like regular glue. And then... It is going to take about, I always let mine dry at least 24 hours. I don't know if you have to do it that long. But if you want to, you could also just put it on. Oops. See, that's why I have that little cardboard in case that blobs out. I'm going to put it on there. Let me see if I could get closer so you could see. Just put the glue there. Stick it on there. I just put it under the lip right there. You could put it, I mean, the little line for the face. You could put it either way. And now it's going to just let it dry. Um, it does tell you to dry it, um, I think it said like four hours, but I let mine dry overnight. Then I'll know it'll be stuck in there. See how cute it's going to look just with that little glue. And see how there's a little bit of glue on the cardboard. You could put a piece of uh, like um, brown paper bag. That way you don't get anything or it doesn't stick both layers together. I'm going to leave it like that, let it dry overnight, and then it'll be ready to go. That's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, help me grow my channel by sharing my videos with your friends and your family. Also, I do have a Facebook page, and at the end of next month, well, really at the beginning of January, hopefully by then, I will have an official website where you'll be able to go download patterns. Some will be free, some will be paid but I will um, you'll be able to get more information and um, then you could sign up for a, a newsletter I'm going to be doing on different tips different articles and if you want if you're interested in becoming a guest uh, a writer for the blog for a little blog I'm doing on the website then give me your information or if you want your Etsy store or your other stuff to be featured send that information um, to me, you could write it down when I announce the website, then you can give me that information. We'll put it there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I have a great day, and I want you to remember always that God loves you.